We have previously looked at David Kemp and his use of found objects and objects around him to create his masks. I have gone out and collected a whole range of different objects like shoes, a hot water bottle, even a magazine to cut up from. I've got a swimming hat, I've got tea bags, I've just found anything that's around me. Even here's something, I'm not sure what it is, a rusty old thing, but it looks intriguing which is why I'm going to use it. I've thought about their shape and I've thought about what I might potentially use them for. So now I'm going to start arranging them to make my masks in a David Kemp style. Here I've used an audio wire, a milk bottle, some little cartons, tea bags, a feather and a whole range of pens. So now I'm going to start my second mask. I'm going to use the shoe and a brush, that rusty old thing. I'm going to cut up some magazine flowers for the mouth and I just keep adding things on top of things to create quite a layered mask. Here come the teeth. third one. I'm really going to work hard on this and I might even add some drawing into it just to add extra details, extra layers of information. bits of found paper scrunched up to create earrings then I decide to actually draw the ears in and I scribble the darkness that you would see inside the eardrums. Having finally finished it I take a photograph and then I'm going to draw it. Now I don't want to draw it exactly as I saw it as I made it. I'm going to alter the drawing because after all so far I've been influenced by David Kemp in what I've made and now I want to develop it further. So my drawing isn't exactly as the mask looks but you can certainly see where I got the ideas from. I've even added a bit of a brain at the top. I've used lots of tone, I've used greys, and whites and blacks to fill in my mask. It's always interesting to see the objects that I have used in my mask arranged together. I've used a technique called a flat lay where I've arranged them flat on the surface and then photograph them from above. I've kept them in a square format. Mm -hmm. 